Okay, everyone, are you ready for round two? And round two has another 25 words. Maybe some of them are a little bit more difficult. Well, find out when we start with number one. Number one, the word is Asian. And Asian is an adjective. It means referring to Asia or its people. So all of my students are Asian. Word number two is foreigner. Foreigner is a noun. A foreigner is a person that comes from another country. So I am a foreigner in Thailand. Word number three is therapy. Therapy is the treatment of a physical or mental illness. Sometimes I have massage therapy for an ache or pain. Word number four. Word number four is resident. And a resident is someone who stays in one place for a long time or permanently. I am a resident of Thailand. Please spell the word resident. Word number five is parachute. Parachute. And parachute is a noun. A parachute is usually a piece of cloth that slows us down when we jump out of an aeroplane or try to fly in the air. Can you please spell the word parachute? Word number six is nervous. Nervous is an adjective. Nervous describes a feeling of fear or worry. I feel nervous before I have an exam or test. Can you spell the word nervous? Word number seven is entire. Entire. Entire is an adjective and it refers to the whole of something. Nothing is left out. I like to eat the entire menu when I go to the restaurant. Can you spell entire? Word number eight is marble. Marble. And marble is a noun. Marble is a type of stone you may see on the floor or the work surface of an expensive kitchen. Can you spell the word marble? Word number nine is permanent. And permanent is an adjective meaning lasting forever or a very long time. So I hope my job is permanent. Can you spell permanent? Word number 10 is sixth. Sixth. And sixth is a noun. It refers to number six in a series of something. I am the sixth child in my family. Moving on to word number 11. Word number 11 is kneel. And kneel is a verb meaning to sit on your knees. I like to kneel before I pray. Word number 12 is tennis, and tennis is a noun. Tennis is a game normally played between two or four people with a racket and a ball. I like to play tennis sometimes, but can you spell tennis? Word number 13 is forgive. Forgive. And forgive is a verb when you don't feel bad about something that has happened to you or someone did to you, you can forgive them. I can forgive anyone who says sorry to me. But can you spell forgive? Word number 14 is climb. Climb. Climb is a verb. It means to move up. 
I want to climb a mountain if it's not too difficult for me. Can you spell climb? Word number 15 is glacier. Glacier is a noun. A glacier is a large area of ice usually moving slowly down a valley. There are glaciers on the North Pole that are melting right now. But can you spell glacier? Word number 16 is lightning. Lightning. Lightning is a noun and lightning is the flash that you see in the sky during a thunderstorm. I'm scared of lightning. I hide behind the sofa when I see lightning. But can you spell lightning? Word number 17 is environment. Environment is a noun. The definition of environment is the place where we live, our surroundings or nature. Can you spell the word environment? Word number 18 is specific. Specific is an adjective and refers to one particular thing, a certain thing. Is there anything specific that you would like for dinner tonight? Can you spell specific? Word number 19 is arrogant. Arrogant. And arrogant is an adjective which means someone is behaving in a rude manner, perhaps suggesting they are better in some way than you. Do you think Ronaldo is arrogant when he plays football? Can you spell arrogant? Word number 20 is historic. Historic is an adjective to describe a place or thing important in history. There are many historic temples in Bangkok. Can you spell historic? Word number 21 is physical. Physical. Physical means relating to the body rather than the mind. I like to take physical exercise sometimes. Word number 22 is necessary. Necessary. Necessary is an adjective. Necessary means that you have to do something. You have to have a pen and paper for this exercise. It is necessary for you. Can you spell necessary? Word number 23 is intelligent. Intelligent. Intelligent is an adjective meaning that you can do something or understand something, particularly if it's difficult. I have many intelligent students in my class. Can you spell intelligent? Word number 24 is leisure. Leisure. Leisure is an adjective and leisure is a time when we are not working or studying. What do you like to do in your leisure time? Finally for this round, word number 25 is dictionary. Dictionary. And dictionary is a noun. A dictionary is a book with words inside, normally listed in alphabetical order. Do you need a dictionary to help you spell this word? Remember everyone, all of the answers are going to be in the description below. When you have finished this section, have a look down there and see how you did. Tell me in the comments section if you got a good score or not. Well done, you have successfully finished round two. If you enjoyed that, go on and do rounds three and four by clicking on the video link here.